it's an ecological horticulture course. So it's, um, it looks at the whole ecology, at soil, at plants, trees, insects. It, it tries to sort of look at that full ecosystem, including also us. That I feel that it, it's really helped me to look differently at, at um, starting mostly also with plants. In the whole sort of learning, for example, about identification of what actually grows here, I think if you would like to get engaged with reforestation, and not only here in this area, but in any sort of area, it gives you a really solid basis, like good tools, and, um, and for me, really sort of confidence like, uh, to, to start off. I learned a lot of things. Um, this course is quite rich in terms of uh, its content around recognizing the native species, uh, na both native and not, but generally what grows well here and around this region. So it was a lot of uh, learning through uh, observation, but also learning from a, a lot of very rich experience of this work from both Oroville and around uh, this, uh, this particular region. So we had a lot of uh, field trips where we visited Jinji, Thiruvannamalai, you know, areas that are not so far from here to understand where and how this, the forests of this region could have looked. And we also visited a lot of the sites that uh, Botanical Gardens has been um, working on. I think if you're interested uh, to understand what it means to start uh, a restoration project in your own place, or if you were interested in landscaping but in a more intelligent way without, without really, through an understanding of what uh, the place you're working at uh, could really use in terms of um, the least efficient resource use and also bringing back some of the indigenous vegetation, then I think this, this course, especially if you're in South India, is very useful. Anybody who studied agriculture, horticulture in a very conventional sense, I think this could be a great sort of supplement to, uh, to, doing, to looking at it from a much more ecological perspective. I grew up in a space that was so disconnected from the land, and I think most people are. So it's almost like learning a new language to communicate and learning, building new relationships with what, what's around us, you know. I feel like there's so many people in Oroville that are just like gone in deep journeys in different routes, like soils, someone in geology, and someone just putting reforestation projects, someone landscaping, and I think it's a place that has all these people, which is very hard to find in one space. So the course kind of puts them together in a mix that is very useful, I feel. First I have to say thanks to our Ramco group. Without them I would not be here. When I heard about this course, uh, I feel like I am going to add uh, some experience to my career. We are creating some forest uh, in wild, but uh, we want to create a native species forest. Uh, in outside we tried to get those things, um, but I can't get that native species, so I joined this course. I joined the course because I was very much interested in plants. Like I was grown up in a agricultural background where my father was an agriculturist. Suddenly I came to know about this course which is happening in Botanical Garden and I wanted to join this course and know more about plants, how they are going, growing in different situations and how they are adapting this ecology which is continuously changing. I would like to, to be a project manager as well and um, restore our, our planet.